Hi everybody! Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. This week we'll be covering how to get ready for Google I.O., spatial sound, new update prompts for crashing apps, and more. So, let's get ready for Google I.O. I.O. is just a few days away, and we couldn't be more excited to share the latest updates across Google's developer products, solutions, and technologies. From keynotes to technical sessions and hands-on workshops, these announcements aim to help you build smarter and ship faster. Start building your personal I.O. agenda today and start connecting with the community. Check out the blog for links and more information. In Android 13, API Level 33, we introduced a new standardized platform architecture for spatial audio, a premium and more engaging sound experience. With spatial audio, your content sounds more realistic to users, but making it sound as though they are in the middle of the action. The individual instruments from a band can be separated and placed around the user, or the sound from a whale might grow as it approaches from behind and taper off as it swims away. I can't demonstrate this here with my single microphone, so check out the blog for more info. There are new automatic update prompts for crashing apps. We are excited to announce a new feature that will help you to increase the rollout velocity of app updates and meet Play's quality bar. On phones and tablets running Android 7.0, SDK level 24 and above, the Play Store will prompt users to update your app if it crashes in the foreground and a more stable version is available. This will reduce your user perceived crash rate. If you'd like to know more, check out the blog. As far as Android X releases, the first release candidate for Compose Material 3 version 1.1.0 is out. Time Picker has been removed from the stable API with further changes expected in the state API. Modal Bottom Sheet has moved to Android only since it's not recommended for desktop use and the functionality is not actively maintained. We've had a bunch of fun articles come out in the past week. In the shape of things to come, Chet outlines how to create rounded shapes in Android X using the new Graphic Shapes Library. This sets you up to learn how to animate between shapes and shape morphing in Android. In Problem Solving and Compose Text, Alejandra takes you step by step through her process for solving a text layout problem weighing pros and cons of each solution along the way. Yassine covers the new Photo Picker support library and Photo Picker Everywhere. This means that with ActivityX 1.7.0, Photo Picker works on devices as far back as Android KitKat. That's 4.4. A new code lab was released to help you configure, implement, and verify Android app links. This goes great with Saab's previous blog post, Android App Links Implementation in a Few Steps. Finally, Jeremy covers some upcoming changes to Compose's pointer input and improvements and changes to Compose's pointer input. Make sure to give this a read if you use modifier.pointer input. Finally, in the world of video, in what is PLR and how can it help to create accessible apps, and Kita covers how the Play Prelaunch reports can help you make your app more accessible for your users. And that's it for this week with updates on Google I.O., spatial audio, automatic update prompts for crashing apps, and more. Check back soon for the next update from the Android developer universe.